music for Egypt. Nile FM. That was what lovers do right here on Nile FM, and this is Hisham, and I'm excited to bring to you my co-host for this evening, and he is the one and only Romi Ashur, uh, eight-time world champion. I guess, yes, I guess so. Yes, yes. <laughs> Come on, man. Don't don't be so. I heard. Guess. <laughs> Come on, man. Don't don't be so humble, man. Come on. <laughs> this is something that you can legit brag about with no restrictions. So, I was so. I was never good at bragging. Honestly, I was never good. I wish. I wish I was. You know, I wish I was able to. I wish I, wish I had that skill. I know. Super man. bad about it. I know. See, eight times world champion and a humble guy too. So. <laughs> Can't 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 be wrong with that, yo man. I'm super excited tonight. I just want to introduce the topic to everybody who's joining us today. If you guys are listening, Romi Ashur is with me in the studio. Send me your messages on zero one fifty five nine fifty five one zero four two, and don't forget to hashtag How Crazy Are We? Now on to the topic. We are talking about sports. Obviously, you're like you're a squash superstar, and and uh, I thought of bringing down this crazy topic and i want to ask you what is your opinion on this why on earth do people pay money for a gym membership and never go have, have you ever done that uh i don't think i've ever paid money for a gym membership i've done wa- walk-ins okay. at uh at like you know whenever we go to a tournament or something i landed at a at a, at a country a different country every like couple of every week every uh, other week and i just uh, I just walk down the street and I find the gym that I just want to work in, and uh-huh. I would just work work out a little bit, and I just pay per per session. Per session. Per, but yeah, I th- yeah. I think I think a lot of people feel like once they they have paid, they are committed, and and that's the beginning of it. But <laughs> just, that's just the beginning, right? <laughs> I mean, it's it, there's a lot there's a lot to do more than that. But honestly, honestly, I'm not trying to make gyms not feel useful for anything. I love gyms. I go to gyms all the time, but. Ninety percent of the week, I work out at home. I I do stuff at home, body weights. I can just get two dumbbells, couple of rubber bands, and I'm good to go. I don't. I really like thirty minutes from twenty to thirty minutes, like intense ones. These are the best. You don't need like like two, a three hit hours. kind of workout. Yes, you don't okay, need like okay. two three hours if you can do them. I mean, as much as you can. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so there you have it, guys. If you want to send me your reasons for not working out, you know the number. I just gave it to you a little while ago. The telephone line is 38555055. And last but not least, don't forget to use the social media uh, platforms. You can send me messages on Twitter, Instagram, or, you know, um, I guess, what else? Facebook? Facebook? Yeah, you can do Facebook as well, right? Right? <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> let, me, let me tell you this. Uh, I want to ask you... Uh, do, do you struggle to convince, like when you were a child, did you struggle to convince your family of your sports career? Can I just back up for a second and just tell you one of the one more reasons about the thing that about the why people don't? I mean, we can just pay my membership and they never go. Uh huh. It's not. I don't think it's, it's not about going or not. It's just about that. Like food is a lot more enjoyable than anything else. <laughs> Like honestly, like oh, I like man. I love food. I, I love. W- I wish Mo was here right now. <laughs> I swear, like you know, you know Mo from Nile FM. Yes, right? yes, yes. Hey, hey. Of course. Hey, oh man, this guy I mean, is a foodie. I'm a foodie. I mean, foodie. I mean, food, food is amazing. I mean, and and it's it's just that the after feeling of the workout is oh, a lot man. more rewarding than the than the feeling of than the temporary feeling of food. But than the satisfaction after of, the meal. Than the, than the temporary satisfaction okay, of the meal. Okay. But okay. the after feeling lasts with you longer. But for you to get to that mindset, it takes some <laughs> practice, honestly. Dude, there's no satisfaction after a meal. For me, after a meal, all I feel is like, <laughs> I feel like I'm in a coma or something. I just want to sit in front of a TV screen. <laughs> but that's crazy. All right. Up, um, we're we're going to take a short break right now. I'm going to leave you guys with uh, Plum. And in my arms, and when I come back, more with Rami Ashur. One right now by Post Malone on week and weekend right here on Nile FM. And I'm back again with my special co-host for this evening. Rami Ashur is in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a crazy, sick show. What do you th- what do you think of the topic, man? What do you man, think? I love your energy, man. Just Thank before anything else. Hey, man. I am excited about this just because of your energy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, ask anybody around here; they'll tell you I've been like this since day one. I'm that's just, good. That's, that's good. What, that's that's Love yeah. It, I guess the crazy energy brings the gift. name of the show. It's a gift. How crazy are we? Yes. All right. So if you guys are just tuning in right now for the first time tonight, me and Romi are talking about uh, the fact that 
a lot of crazy people out there pay money to go to the gym and they never end up going. So uh, I want you to send me the reasons why you would not work out. What are the reasons? And you can send me those reasons on 0155. 955-1042 and the first message that popped up right over here is from the one and only uh, A. Samir is it Ali Samir or Ahmed Samir or I don't know Esir Samir I don't know so please send me your first name so can I can give you the proper shout out that you deserve man alright he says uh, good evening sir the reason why I don't go to the gym is because I am too young LOL alright he's actually typing his name right now he's typing my name, oh, my name is Farida. Oh, okay, you're using your father's uh, WhatsApp. Okay. That's, that's nice, that's nice. Farida is too young to work out. All right, another shout out goes to um, Reem Fadil. A big shout out to Reem. And she says, I personally prefer, uh, instead of going to the gym, I like dance classes or fitness classes that are related to dance, you know, like uh, salsa or, you know, uh, <clears throat> I guess Bachata. usually... Yeah, or I have a very good friend. Her name is Dream Fodl, actually, and she dances and she's very good at bachata and salsa. So maybe that that it, might be her. It, it might be her. That might be her. It might be her. Hey, Reem. Reem. Reem, Reem Fodl, right? <laughs> yeah, I think okay, so. Then. Hey, man. There's only one Reem Fodl in Egypt, right? All right. So hey, it has, has to be her. You never know. We're, there's, there's, there's what? A hundred million of us? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rob Stevens. Our very own Rob Stevens from the morning show oh, just yeah, sent me a message right now and he's saying. Uh, I don't go to the gym because I love my kirsch. Okay, that's 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 legit, man. What that's do you have legit. to say to Rob, uh, Rob about this? Rob, you you're it's spot on, man. It's spot on, man. Just, just keep it up. It's, it's a good excuse. The the, big, the bigger kirsch, the 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 more creative you are. Exactly. That's that's exactly. a very bad advice. So please don't take it. All right, all right. Now that I've uh, gotten some of the WhatsApp messages out of the way, are you ready to play a? the first round of this or that let's do that all right this is what's happening i'm gonna i'm gonna throw some questions at you really really quick questions and you gotta answer or respond to it as fast as you can are you ready i am all right pineapple on pizza or no pineapple on pizza no pineapple on pizza ketchup or mustard ketchup uh <clears throat> sort by price or by rating rating Sauce on the side or sauce on top? Sauce on everything. Oh, wow. Wow. Literally. Good answer. Love that answer. Literally. Okay. Working hard or hardly working? Working hard, definitely. Okay. Vacation or staycation? Uh, staycation. All right. Night or morning? Uh, night, definitely. Hmm. Passenger or driver? Uh, driver. Okay. In, uh, in terms of the bigger meaning as well. Okay. 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 All right. Nice. 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 Okay. Uh, attend a party or host a party? Host a party. Okay. Very good. Definitely. Uh, sneakers or dress shoes? Uh, sneakers. All right. <laughs> uh, fiction or nonfiction? Uh, nonfiction. All right. Uh, cash or credit? Uh, credit. Salad or sandwich? Salad. <laughs> All right. Ding, 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 ding. Very good answers. Now, you guys know a little bit more about Romy Ashur than anyone else. I guess that's that's the only spot to have it. 104.2 Nile FM. Let me leave you right now with a little bit of Adele. And can I get it? Hit music for Egypt. Nile FM. I want it all by the script right here on Nile FM. And yes, I'm back. And I got Rami Ashur with me in the studio. And uh, yeah, I finally, you know what, man? I'm, I'm happy with all the messages that we're getting on WhatsApp. But I'm tired of reading it all by myself. Every day, I do this by myself. I'm happy that I'm I have a co-host right now. I'm here, right I'm here now. for you, Shem. I'm here for you. I got a co-host today. I'm here you're, for you. You're gonna read the messages, man. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make you work for a okay, little bit. Okay, let me do that one. Uh, I'll get. I'll. I'll go out and have have like a water break and take some. No, you can't leave me. You can't leave me here. <laughs> can't do that. <laughs> so okay, so uh, here's Yusuf. Yusuf is saying, "Hey, Shem. First of all, great uh, song choices, and secondly, I am not good at joining the gym." Uh, Ashen, he, is, uh, he has a lot of work uh, 24-7. Okay, so, uh, okay, okay. That's, that's a good, uh, that's a good, uh, that's one a good of, excuse. One of the legitimate excuses. I mean, excuses. You, can, you, can, you can squeeze that in 20, 20 minutes. Honestly, in 20 Thank minutes, you. you can do workouts. See, this is what How Crazy Ari is all about. We present a crazy, crazy problem and we find solutions. No Thank excuses, you. Joe. No excuses, no, man. No excuses, man. <laughs> no excuses. All right, so <laughs> what else? What else? What else do we got here? With There's another message right here uh, from Rona. 
but I hope you don't sneeze on us because I'm afraid of the Rona. Uh, what's her name? What's her? Send me your real name. It just says Rona. Rona. Uh, I like I like the name actually. Rona. Yeah. This is super American. Yeah. Rona. Uh, what did what did she have to say? Did you see? Uh, you... Rona is saying uh, uh, Rania. So it's Rania. Okay, Rania. Big I... shout out to Rania. Uh, so hi Hisham and Rami, I love going to the gym every day. I'd like to listen to Rami's song I love the song. Thank you so much, Rania. But unfortunately the song is in Arabic. I wish I could have come on. sung it now, but Rania, come on. Well, um, come on. Hopefully it's, it's not Lafem girl. I'll do it I'll do it on Instagram <laughs> later. For sure. Yes, for I'll, sure. I'll do it on Instagram for her later. All right, awesome, awesome. And yeah, okay, okay, we'll do that. And what's going on? Now, I want to actually ask you some you know, actual personal questions uh, regarding your whole career, man. I mean, you are, you look like you're a young man. <laughs> you're like, you know, you're not old. Why'd you retire, man? Is it? Is it... Um, I'm forced. So my whole career, I've been struggling with a lot of injuries. Okay. I did an ACL surgery when I was 14. And then a Ouch. lot of things happened after that. I just don't want to give you headaches with, 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 with all the details. But uh, basically, I had a lot of, uh, I had I had a big history of injuries. And uh, until I got to the age of, tw- of 32, okay. which was two years ago, and I had to uh, retire. I was in New York for six years. And on that last year, I had to retire out of um, out of um, cartilage. Um, my cartilage, my my knee environment was destructive. Okay, uh, okay. It wasn't it wasn't uh, constructive anymore. So I was having a lot of inflammation. My cartilage was uh, almost gone. So I had to do a stem cell surgery, which did not work out. And uh, I did PRPs. I did everything you can imagine, but things didn't work out. And I, at some point, I realized, understood that that's the time. That's the right time to give. To not to give up, but just to understand that I just can't because I never gave up. I didn't know anything in my whole life other than squash. I was engraved on court 24-7 since I was six years old until I was 32 years old. So wow. 20, wow. almost 28 years of my life or so. That is definitely um, a career. So, so I'd never understood the idea of retiring. I was, whenever someone tells me, oh, you got to do something after squash, right? When you retire, I was like, what? what's what? What's that word? What's that term? <laughs> I, whenever I see someone, I identify myself as, hi, I'm Rami Ashur, I'm, I'm, I'm that squash player. So after that was, was well, yeah. See, man, see, anybody, like, when I think about it, anybody who's got a talent, even if you're an, like, for example, you're an athlete, but right now you're a singer. I know that you have something else inside of we you. still have the squash they, they, academy exactly. and we're still doing it I, I love it so much there we go i love it so much and, and i would have never never asked the universe to give me a better life after squash and i'm super blessed and i'm super lucky i don't think i don't believe in pure luck i believe in work hard luck serves you so i've and i've worked i think i've worked, worked really hard do, to, do. to get there so work hard and party harder all right definitely uh, <laughs> definitely <laughs> all right on to another question right now uh okay what was going on with the whole when you when you were that young and you had that status of being the number one in the entire world how did that play when you were a teenager on your ego love the question love the i was i was just gonna mention the ego thing it was it was literally crazy because i was i come from a very um individualized uh, uh, family. My, my dad and my mom used to work uh, as flying crew, so everyone was doing their own thing. I would come home after a tournament, my dad would be in Japan, my mom would be in whatever, I don't know, my, my brother would be playing a tournament somewhere else. So we each of us had their own personality in terms of everything. So it was crazy because I was I was alone a lot, even even when they're, when when people are around you and you have this goal and you're going for it all the time. So Demons would play with my head, so that's why it was crazy. Demons would play a lot with my head. Uh-huh. Oh, you're number one in the world, you're the best player in the world. What should you do now? Should you get cocky? <laughs> should you feel like you're the best person ever? Should you should you just go and, you know, like a lot of weird things were, were always on my mind. And then I had to push them away. Uh, and then I had to ground myself back again. And I had to, str- I struggled with that even on court when I was playing. I would be playing at, at the World Championship and like, like uh, the last like five minutes in the, in the whole match and I worked my whole like year for that and I would get those thoughts. Those thoughts would come in rushing in my head. What would I do then? So it was crazy. It was a lot of things on my mind all the time when I was younger. It was a lot of demons. I was fighting a lot of things but I've always succeeded in pushing them away and I I'd never regret anything. I never regret doing any bad decision when I was playing on court or off court. I don't think... I'd, I think I'd regret things now after I played because I don't have that... 
uh, I don't know, I had this grittiness in me. I had this, uh, I don't know, I, this feeling of I'll do whatever it takes just to keep myself doing the right things all the time. And that was super hard because I'm a human being. I didn't want to do the right things all the time, right? That's but true. but But that, I had to be there. I had to be that person. Dude. So I can get there. You did it effortlessly and I'll, I'll tell you why. From my humble point of it view. It looked effortlessly. It, it, no, <laughs> it, it, it was effortlessly okay. and I'll prove to you why okay. right now. Because first of all, I'm not, I'm not trying to butter you up or like, you know, to, you know, but no, seriously, guys, if you're listening right now, this guy is one of the most humble human beings that I've ever met. I've, today was the first time that I see him face to face. I spoke to him on the phone a couple of times so that we can arrange this this meeting on air. And and honestly, on the phone, he seemed like a, a, a down-to-earth guy. And when I met him, he gave me that vibe that he's just an average Joe. He's like one of us. He's not bragging. He doesn't have his head up in the cloud for being a, a world champion. You know, he's he's a humble, decent human being for real. Man. Trust me, if I knew any other way, I would have totally done it. But honestly, thank you so much for these words. Like that means a lot. No worries, man. No worries. All right. If you got any other reasons for why you do not go to a gym or why do you pay for the gym and not go, you know the number 0155-955-1042. And don't forget to hashtag how crazy are we? Now, let me leave you with a little bit of music. And when I come back, I'll read some more crazy messages. Don't go away. Don't blah, 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 blah. Don't go anywhere. Music for Egypt. Nile FM. 504 in Kanye West. Alicia Keys, City of Gods, right here on Nile FM, and I'm back again with the one and only Rami Ashur. This is, so far, dude, this is the most exciting episode that I've had of How Crazy Are We in such a long time. Uh, you're, you know what, man? Same here. You're... you're you know what, man? You're welcome to come anytime, yeah, I man. Will, I will, I will, I will. Yeah, I will. For, so for real, um, tonight's topic for anybody who's just tuning in right now, I'm. Uh, we are both talking about uh, the fact that it's so crazy that people want to work out. They say they have the will to work out and they're like, okay, I want to do it. They plan it. They pay for it and they never go. So uh, reasons, why do they do that? Uh, some uh, Some reasons are being sent to us on WhatsApp right now. And speaking of WhatsApp, here is an interesting message from a very interesting lady. I'm going to read it to you right now. There's a little bit of a question regarding your food preferences, and it's okay. directed to you. Okay. But that's because this lady is an amazing lady. She she loves sending us photos of uh, whatever she comes up with in the kitchen. Okay. Sometimes it's it's something delicious from uh, you know from the stovetop. And sometimes it's something that she pulls out of the oven, like bakeries and, you know, like uh, she's just amazing. Fatima, very, very talented lady, by the way. She sings and she plays the guitar wow. and she draws and she sends us sketches. Amazing. Love, love that personality. Uh, she says, hashtag, how crazy are we? Hi, Hashem. Congrats on the interview with Romy Ashur. Heart emoji. So excited for you. Thank you. Thank you. And the question f to Romy is... What kind of salad? <laughs> because she's probably going to make a salad for you, man. Well, okay, what kind of salad do you want? And what kind of dressing on that salad? Uh, well, honestly, uh, as much as I love salads, as much as they ruin them, I always ruin salads because I love sauces. Uh -huh. So I put a lot of sauce in salads so they no more salads. <laughs> so they're, they're no longer no, salads. No longer healthy. They, they're not, yeah, but I mean, <laughs> but I love I love um, an Iswas salad. I love, um, yeah, like tuna salad, a salmon salad. I'm crazy about seafood, and I'm actually actually a pescatarian. Okay, okay. And like, I rarely, rarely, I maybe once a year I'd eat chicken, I'd eat chicken okay, or meat, okay. but I always eat fish. All so right. I always, I always prefer like um, beetroot salad, quinoa salad. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Well, there you have it, uh, Fatima. Thank you so much for your message. That was super beautiful. And let's uh, let's get back to the crazy questions, yo. Let's get back to the crazy questions. Romy, are you ready for this? Yes. What is the weirdest, craziest thing? that you have ever tasted food wise uh in hong kong i ate i ate my biggest fear i ate a snake oh oh okay okay and it was not pleasant i'm telling you it was, wow. it, was it, it, it tasted like as if someone's hand were literally inside my my tongue like putting my tongue I was, it was just Ew. i i can't i can't explain more than that it's, it's just it was just it was just wrong <laughs> okay <laughs> never do it again <laughs> on to the same wavelength crazy and weird but what is the craziest and weirdest thing that ever happened to you 
inside of a squash court. Go. Uh, craziest or weirdest? Uh, that's actually that's a tough one. Actually, uh, craziest. I mean, in my inside my head, there's a lot of crazy things that happen all the time. Crazy thoughts, but okay, okay, crazy me, and weird. I can't. Let me, okay, I let can't me let me help you. Right let now. me help you. I'm gonna say a name, and that's m- maybe gonna help you a little bit. Uh, Gregory G- Gaultier. Gregory Gaultier. Impossible, man. Eh? Come on, man. Come on, man. Eh? I kill it. Eh? Uh, Greg I kill is it. one of my best, one of my really, really good friends. Uh, we have had a lot of fights on court. And uh, yeah, a lot of fights, but we ended up being good friends. Um, See, I heard, I heard, I heard a, an inside story about this guy specifically. What happened? Tell me. I heard that he was like, uh, talent wise, inside of the court, he was. Uh, the, at the highest level to challenge you, right. I guess. Right. Right. And whenever, whenever he would get close to beating you, you would pull the magic crazy shots that nobody could ever beat, <laughs> which is basically your signature move or one of your signature moves. Well, and he cannot ever, you know. Well, I'll be honest with you. Sometimes you beat people. As much as love, sometimes you beat people with their, and that does that doesn't have anything to do with like against them or against personality. But sometimes you beat people at their game, at their at their skill, at what they can do, and sometimes you beat them at their personality. Uh-huh. And I often did beat a lot of players at their personalities because Greg, he's a baby from inside, but he had a lot of ego. <laughs> He would walk around like Napoleon, you know. Yeah, he would yeah. walk around like, oh, there's no. I'd ask him, Greg, uh, 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 who do you have? Uh, who do you have in this tournament? He goes, he'd be like, oh, I'm playing this guy and this guy, and maybe these guys are like number four and five in the world. And he goes at the end of the sentence, he goes, eh, no one is playing the tournament, man. I was like, <laughs> what do you mean? Like you're like the world champions. So sometimes you would, I'd use that and motivate myself to beat players like these. Um, and sometimes you just beat them at their game. So that was my thing with Greg, I guess. I've never said that, actually. Awesome answer. Awesome answer, man. All right, uh, let's play a little bit of music and come back and uh, read some more crazy messages right after this. Music for Egypt. Nile FM. Fireboy, DML, and Ed Sheeran. That was Peru right here. On Nile FM, and this is Hisham and Romi Ashur back again with another segment of How Crazy Are We? And tonight we are talking about the crazy fact that a lot of people try to go to the gym but never end up going. You know, they pay memberships but they never really go. And what sort of excuses would they have? And right now I'm taking my very first caller of this evening and I'm going to say hello. 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 What's up? Not much, man. What's up with you? Who's this? Who's this? I know that voice. My name is Hisham Ashur. Oh. <laughs> I know that voice. <laughs> okay. 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 That was... Are you related to uh, Rami or Hisham in any way? <laughs> any of us? <laughs> he can't... Wow. I thought that would be a good surprise. <laughs> Hisham Ashur, is this, is, this, is an amazing, uh, this is an amazing surprise, dude. Seriously. What do, you, what, do you think, what do you think of your brother being on this uh, crazy show and, and joining us today, man? I love it, man. Listen, I always listen to your show and I love your energy. And um, my brother being there, this is really cool. I think I'm going to enjoy it. The only thing is I need to listen to it. Like, wh- where can I, when, is it, can I, can it be repeated somewhere? Uh, see, if you are not inside of a vehicle, you can always download the mobile application uh, or you can go on the website, www.nilefm.com. Hisham, does that mean that you were not listening to me from the beginning? Oh my God. He's not talking oh to me, he's God. talking that's, to you. That's it, that's it, that's it. Uh... <laughs> no longer brothers, man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you got me there. You got me there. <laughs> okay, Hisham. I got the 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 question for tonight's topic is is what are the reasons why people ignore working out or or escape from the the responsibility of working out? Listen, I love this topic. Actually, I love this topic, and I always talk to my friends about it. It doesn't uh-huh. mean that I'm really that, that I'm, that I'm perfect with, with going to the gym and everything. Uh-huh. But I have something here I can say, which is the only thing. You can never, ever give up on is your body. And you can give up on a lot of other things in life, but not your body. You know, I've been trying to, I'm not fat, but I'm not super fit at the moment, but I'm trying to trim down for a very long time, maybe three years now. Tomorrow, today, I eat well today. Tomorrow, I'm not eating well. Tomorrow, I'm in the gym. The day after, I'm in the gym, and then I stop. But I, but I cannot 
stop. I cannot give up on my body and on myself. That's the only thing I cannot give up on. Do you know what I'm saying? Definitely, man. Couldn't agree with you more. I mean, it's it's your temple. Your body is your temple. You know, you take exactly. care of it, and it takes care of you. Exactly. All right, exactly. all right, all right. Do you yeah, want to I give a shout out from the from the question? But <laughs> oh, no worries, man. No, no, no. By the way, Hisham, I just want to tell you, uh, Hisham Musa. I want to tell you something. Hisham is one of the most. Not not just because of his my brother. Honestly, he's one of the most talented squash players that ever graced uh, this earth. Really? Yes, and really? Uh, he was a lot fitter when he was playing. Uh -huh. He's okay now, but he was a lot fitter when he was playing. But honestly, he 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 inspired me a lot, and he did he did a lot of a lot of a lot of effort with me to teach me a lot of things on court. Awesome. Not of course, just so on court. Brother. That's a little bit of brotherly <laughs> love on how crazy are we? I'm loving the energy. Dude, yo, Hisham, who do you want to yeah. give a shout out to? I want to give a shout out to my wifey. Okay. And to um, actually um, uh, my friend and my very good friend and, um, and my wife's uh, manager and stylist, uh, Angie El Mor, she's sitting here with me actually because we're trying yes, to Yes, Angie. Of say course. Hi, say hi, Angie. Of course. Hey, what up, NJ? And um, yeah, we're doing some uh, styling because we've got a commercial coming up. So um, we're working. Um, we're we, she's trying to make me look good. All right, and, all right. Um, I don't. I don't think she has to do a lot of work, yeah, man. Oh, nice. I see. I see. I see. I seen pictures, man. You look like a handsome dude, man. <laughs> <laughs> She'll take care of you. She's super good. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, you guys have a beautiful night and good luck with uh, the photo shoot and, and uh, the commercial and everything. Best Thank of luck, man. Thank you so much, Hashem. Thank you so much. Have you been? Good Enjoy to hear love, from you, Aisha. Love, love having you on the show, man. See you. See you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Music for Egypt. Nile FM. That was La La Land by Bryce Vine right here on Nile FM, and this is Hisham, and I'm back again with another segment of How Crazy Are We? And joining me in the studio today, uh, the one and only uh, Rami Ashur, and yeah, definitely, he's he's not only a, an eight-time world champion of squash, but ladies, he's also a singer! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, oh, speaking of speaking of me trying to, you know, be your wingman and, 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 and do all that, are you single or, or, or in a relationship, man? Uh, uh, what do you think? I don't know, man. I don't know. You How look, do I look like? You, 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 you. They look, look happy. <laughs> you look happy. So I'm gonna say, <laughs> I'm, I'm single. You are single. Definitely am. Ladies, he's single. <laughs> he's single. Stop. You know, stop. 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 Stop it with the WhatsApp messages. Enough. Enough. <laughs> enough. Stop. Stop asking for his number. I'm never gonna give it to you. Okay. So <clears throat> now that I know the answer to that, what about your outlook on friendship? What constitutes a good friend in your book loyalty uh -huh. and genuinely wanting the best for each other without any expecting anything in return genuinely because that's this is very hard and this this can be easily sensed you can have a, a friend for a very long time but you would you'd always feel that whenever you share good news with him because as human beings we love sharing things with other people but it's very very true that you should be very careful with who to, who to who, share it with who, who do you share things with mm -hmm. and um i'm not good at that i'm so, i suck at that i'm super bad at that and whenever i have something good i want to tell people around me and, i want to when i go that, out with and someone and just it. and i just i go out with i go with my friends and i met someone I'm, I'm i don't know him that well but i'm like listen that just happened to me today and i feel that that's good energy and that's gonna spread good energy and love and all these you know dreamy kind of negative things. juju just come out yeah man. exactly you start like you know throwing some negative next vibes thing i you. know and envying you next thing i know th things oh, get ruined so i'm i'm my closest friends i don't have a lot of friends i have a lot of acquaintances but i have my my real real close friends that i can pick up the phone and say whatever i want to say with to they are like uh, you can count them on your count. one hand. Mm -hmm. That was actually my so. follow-up question: how how many friends you have? Yes. So okay, all right. So what about singing? Because you are you, you, this is this is your new passion now. After uh, of course squash. So do you sing in the shower or in in the car sing when you're the, by yourself? I sing in the car and I don't care if anyone sees me. I actually want people to see me so we can share that moment. <laughs> It's a total stranger and maybe we connect for a second <laughs> that would be to super awkward but it could work out awesome. and on the sh in the shower this is where I make my most songs actually yeah yeah. And yeah, the sh I yeah, come up with yeah, a lot of melodies in the shower nice. I write and I compose sometimes oh so you I compose your own yes, music yes, oh nice write. interesting I don't play an instrument though so I do it kind of naturally it just comes out so um, I shower has a great echo so it works perfectly awesome <laughs> awesome very good acoustics in the shower exactly definitely, exactly. definitely. alright um, do you ever go 
to a movie theater by yourself? I do, I do. I, I do that and I walk a lot uh, at night on my own when I'm in my car, on my, my feet. I uh, take myself out to dinners. <laughs> I, 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 I do these kind of things. I, uh, I, like, I love talking to total strangers. Uh, same, same yeah, Z's. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I, I do, uh, yeah, I do some, I think, I mean, I don't feel them weird, but I just feel them connecting. I love connecting. Exactly, man, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, um, earlier on, when we were doing the first round of this or that, I remember that there was a question about uh, attending a party or hosting a party, and you said hosting a party. So speaking of that, what constitutes a good party in your point of view? Like, what... What, what will make a good party? Responsibility. No, no, the person no. Party responsibly. Res- <laughs> exactly. No, no, I'm serious. I mean, responsibility. I've, I've always, I mean, I was, I was in New York. I was, and, and I'm here. I, I was living on my own and now I'm living on my own as well. Whenever I have like a, like a party at my place and I wa- ho- I'm hosting people, I want to make sure that everyone, literally everyone is, is having fun and everyone is laughing and everyone's in the mood. And every, I, I, if I felt someone is not there, is not like, vibing with 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 us i i feel like i'm responsible for that and i feel that i've uh, i've slacked in something maybe i should have got more uh, snacks maybe i should have got you know what i mean like there must be something wrong with me so that's, a, that's a good host and right i there. love when people walk out walk out and they're like that was great that for me that's i don't know why yeah, yeah. but i never dreamt of having a club or something <laughs> but i just love the feeling of people leaving happy and and, and just just vibing people are like you know happy with it awesome awesome romy uh let's uh You know what? We're going to read some uh, crazy messages regarding tonight's topic right after we listen to some more music. Are you up for this? Are you up for this? Let's do that. All right. Up next is Golden Hour. Music for Egypt. Nile FM. That was... Oh, wow. 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 We are having too much fun. That was Golden Hour right here on Nile FM. Um, yeah. Rami Ashur. What's... Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. We We've got a lot of uh, WhatsApp messages regarding tonight's topic. Again, I'm just reminding... Uh, you know, all the listeners and in case anybody is tuning in for the first time right now, tonight we are talking about the reasons why people do not go to a gym. And um, I'm getting a message right here from this person. Let me pull out the name. Alia, Alia Magdi. Big shout out to Alia. And she's saying, good evening. Uh, one of the reasons why I don't want to go to a gym is the pain that happens after the workout i don't want to feel that pain but i mean what do you have to say about that i think man? that's the that's the <laughs> that's when you for first me that, start for me that's the that's that's why i work out i love that pain you know p- pain sometimes is pleasure pain, actually yeah, pain, and that is the pleasure part no pain no gain that's that's a, a definite like known saying in, yeah. in the fitness world but the thing is that if you are only starting to go to the gym for the first time you, you will experience exactly, that pain in sure. the first week because you're because you're and then after that a lot of different muscles muscle groups are, are being moved and exactly and your ligaments and everything is, yeah. is being moved for the first time or 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 different or even if if, if you're an athlete and you do If you and you work different muscle groups or you do, you do a different uh, workout than the ones you're used to, your body will feel super sore. But that soreness is your muscles breaking down so they can rebuild themselves again, exactly. which is which is an amazing process. It's like it's so intriguing actually. And that 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 um, style of switching up your routine that your body is uh, shocking not tra- it. Or something. Yeah, it's 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 called uh, uh, what what is it called? What is it called? It's like it's like it's like it's muscle like you're con- shocking muscle confusion. Muscle confusion, yes, 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 yes see, exactly. See, see, wow, I know, I know, wow, I know, I know, you know stuff. No, man. You know stuff, man. You know stuff. <laughs> All right, so uh, here's uh, a message from Mahmoud. He's saying, "Hey Hisham, hey Rami, what's going on? It is my 21st first birth birthday, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and uh, I just, uh, I'm just tuning in right now. I'm on my way to a, a party with my friends, and I just wanted to tell you that's an awesome episode, and uh, I wanted you guys to wish me a happy birthday. Now, before wishing you a happy birthday." Uh, Rami, there's there's a, a specific message that is uh, somebody somebody is asking you to show off your singing abilities. Oh, uh, Selma, Selma, big shout out to Selma, and she's saying, "Hey, uh, hi, hey, Rami, love you so much." Heart emoji. Uh, I don't go to the gym because I'm only 160 centimeters. What are you trying to say, Selma? I'm only like eight centimeters <laughs> taller than that, Selma. Stop making fun of short people, Selma. And and last but not least, she's saying, uh, I would love to hear you sing in English. So how about how about singing Happy Birthday? I've I've always wanted to sing like 
like professionally English, but I never, I was never, I don't think I was never good at it, but happy birthday, I can do that. Okay. I'm, I'm much better in Arabic. Okay, okay. Um, so we can say, but I mean, that's going to come out as a little bit of Arabic. Like the notes, oh, the you're going to feel them. They're, they're going to be like bit, Arabic modes. Exactly, exactly. Like, you Arabic, know, like Arabic quarter quips. notes. Arabic quarter, quarter Arabic notes. Quips. You're going to see them there. All right, let's do this. Let's so do this. <clears throat> happy birthday, happy birthday. So what's the name again? I'm sorry. All right, let me let me look up the name again. Let me look up the name Is again. Ahmed, Ahmed? I think it was. No, it was. I I believe. Okay, I believe it's Amr. Okay. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Amr. Happy birthday to you. Booyakasha! Me can't believe me eyes or my ears. <laughs> Dude, you killed that, man. You killed that. Yo, Amr, happy 21st birthday, man. And and I really, I'm, I honestly hope that you're uh, you're having a ball uh, at that party that you're heading out to. And happy birthday, uh, man. Let's listen to a little bit of uh, Mountain Valley right now. And when we come back, more with Rami Ashur. Music for Egypt. Nile FM. Lizzo. Truth, truth hurts right here on Nile FM. Do, do you think truth hurts, man? Truth, think? yeah, truth is amazing. Truth is amazing, but, but truth it is annoying. Hurt. It does hurt. It, it does hurt. It, it is, but as, it, again, it depends on what kind of person you are. Some people like truth being sugar coated. Some people like truth being totally naked. It depends on what, how do you like it. Okay, okay. It depends on people's perception of the crazy topic of truth. Exactly. All right, you're tuned in to 104.2 Nile FM and me and Romy Ashur, the eight-time world champion at squash, is joining me today as my co-host. And I'm going to make him work a little bit and uh, read some of the WhatsApp messages regarding tonight's topic. Let's do we it. are talking about uh, reasons why people do not go to the gym and go. <laughs> So this is uh, Hira. Hira. Big yes. shout out to Hira. Hi, Hira. So Hira says, hi, Sham. Hi, Rami. So I think the reason is people do that because they think of sports as a punishment. They do it just to get sl the slim body or some muscles. But actually, if you do it because you like it and because it gets you in the mood, you'll never pay and not go to the gym. How crazy mm -hmm. are we? That's uh, that's a pretty good that's a pretty good yeah, explanation. I like it. I actually, I do work out a lot because I it gets me in the mood. It gets me. It gets my me mentally. Uh, you know, I'm I'm a nicer person when I work out. Honestly, I am a way nicer person. I'm I'm more open to life. I can accept things more. I am. I'm joining the other team, man. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. I'm the, okay. I'm the type of. Per I okay. haven't I haven't worked out in maybe ten to fifteen years. Uh, I was in great shape a long time ago. Okay, and I used to work out, not work out at a gym, but but I used to play different sports all the time. So and I think that's the time I where we where, where we're supposed to ask people if we should get you on the squash court or not. See, is, uh, hey man, challenge accepted, man. Yes, any sir. day, any day. <laughs> for me, the the motivation behind that is is just gonna be funny material for me to look <laughs> like an idiot in a squash court being killed by one of the trust world. Me. Trust me, you'll kill champions. it. You'll kill it. It'll be great. It'll be great. <laughs> All right. So here's another message from Dr. Amira. Big shout out to Dr. Amira. And this is what she had to say. Hashtag, how crazy are we? Hello, Hisham. Congratulations on the interview with Rami Ashur. To answer your question, in my humble opinion, uh, exercise may feel hard at the beginning, especially if you're just getting started. But as it becomes consistent, your body gets stronger and it gets used to the workout routine so you don't get sore anymore and uh, you will start enjoying it. Um, you know, once you start to notice the positive impact on your physical and mental health, uh, it will be just a, a part of your daily routine. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Amira. That sure was that. a beautiful message. Um, you ready for the next song? You let's ready do for this. The next song? All right. Let's, let's listen to what's coming up next. Uh, closer right after this. Music for Egypt. Nile FM. 
That was Closer right here on Nile FM, and this is Hisham and Rami Ashur bringing you the weekend episode of How Crazy Are We for this lovely Wednesday evening. It is the 16th of February, and it was the month of love. What do you think of Valentine's, man? Seriously, what do you I, think of I, I think it's a, it's a very uh, healthy day. It just reminds people <laughs> with, uh, you know, with uh, loving each other, I think. Sometimes you tend to forget that. Dude, yeah, dude, <laughs> you know, you know. Okay, re- okay. One of one of the reasons why I I I'm actually uh, <laughs> I have I'm, nothing to do with it. Honestly, I, I, I love this saying. guy more and more every minute. Like this, today's the first time I meet him face to face. But I l- literally love this guy just for the facial expression that I saw on his face. Because you know, I I, I don't know. Val- I'm, I'm bad. I'm bad. At, I'm bad. I'm bad at presents, man. Val- Val- Valentine's is stupid, man. Valentine's is stupid. <laughs> Okay, so <clears throat> back to tonight's topic. We are talking about different reasons why people um, try to make a commitment to going to the gym and then they come up with weird excuses for not going to the gym. And uh, some of these messages that we're receiving on WhatsApp are ridiculous. And uh, here's here's this guy saying, uh, uh, wow, wow. Okay, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go, there we go. Uh, here's a message from Manor. Manor. Yes, big shout out to Manor. And she is saying, uh, the first thing, the Valentine episode was amazing. Girl, that was like at the beginning of the week. Uh, <clears throat> but of course, uh, today's uh, today's topic is wow, exclamation mark. See, see, see. You should she, come more often, man. She people, knows. people are liking my show a she little knows. bit better when you're here, man. <laughs> no, it's okay, you. it's all you. So uh, uh, it's really good and catchy uh, to to have a, a co-host, which is a, a squash champion like Rami. And basically, uh, uh, what? Okay, hold on, hold on. I also I also played squash uh, until I was 17, but unfortunately, I stopped. Manar, come on, girl, get back into it. Get yes, back into it. Yes. And anyway, uh, you speak about sports, gym. It makes your heart beat, which which will improve your cardiovascular activity. And that means when you're when when your heart is strong enough, your entire body is strong enough to deal with the rest of the world. Uh, thank you so much, Manar, for the beautiful, beautiful message. That was fantastic. And right now, Rami. Are you ready for round two of This and That? Fire away, boss. All right, all right. So if you're just tuning in for the first time, Rami killed it at the first round of This and That. And it's basically a series of very, very quick questions that I'm going to throw at him. And he's going to respond as quickly as possible. Are you ready? Yeah. Two, one, go. Now, uh, <clears throat> smartest person in the world or richest person in the world? Smartest. All right. Uh, see the future or change the past? See the future. All right. Sight or sound? Sound. All right. Logic or emotion? Uh, uh, I, that's, that's a tough one. You man. are an emotional person, but you I are trying am. to use your, your brain but more. I'm trying to say logic. Yes. I am an emotion person. Yes, I yes, am. yes, yes. yes. Oh. All right. So uh, pre- uh, predictability or excitement? Uh, excitement. Success or happiness? Success. Uh, cherished or respected? Respected. All right. False hope or unnecessary anxiety? <laughs> uh, wow, we didn't leave me, they didn't even leave me much options here. False, uh, false hope. False hope or unnecessary anxiety? Yes. Uh, uh, unnecessary anxiety? I'll Exa- go with that. <laughs> I'm an anxious Definitely person. Go with that. Anxious person. Yeah, <laughs> go with that. Okay, regret or doubt? Uh, you know what? I can actually deal with regret. I work out hard. I talk to myself like a crazy person in the car. If I regret something, which I never do, I rarely do. Okay. And I, I, and I, I figured out. So I guess regret. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is something that you will relate to probably in the sports world, but underestimated or overestimated? Uh, underestimated. Okay. I like I like being underestimated so I can prove different. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Uh no company or bad company? No company. Painful truth or comfortable lie? Uh or comforting lie. Painful truth, yeah. Painful truth. All right. Uh 
second chance at love or second chance for your career. Or you say the comforting line and I'll sense that that's not the <laughs> right thing and I'll change myself. So, yeah. Sorry, I just had to go back. No, there. no, no. Oh, like hey, it. hey, hey. You you, you thought uh, like deeper it. into the question. Yes, I did. All right, this second round was a little bit deeper. It than is, the first it one. is. Definitely. Okay. All right, all right. Definitely. And, and last question again. Second chance at love or second chance for your career? Career. Career. All right, definitely. All right, so now you all know Romy Ashur a little bit more than anybody else in the world. All right, let me leave you right now with Charlie Puth and Light Switch. Music for Egypt. Nile FM. That was Lost in the Fire right here on Nile FM. And this is Hisham and Romy Ashur bringing you the weekend episode of How Crazy Are We? And if you are just tuning in for the first time, tonight's topic is all about the crazy different reasons why you would ditch the gym and not go and work out. And there are a lot of different reasons that were mentioned earlier on WhatsApp. But right now, you know what? I'm going to read the summary because we're getting a lot of messages right now, Rami. So, yep. so I'm going to give you just the title or the, the main idea why someone would not go to the gym. Right. And I will ask you to comment on that. Right. Okay. You right. ready? Let's do it. So, okay. Yara, big shout out to Yara, is saying, I am too old. What do you think of that? Uh, there is no such a thing. Honestly, you're... you're that's only your head. <laughs> Honestly, that's only your head. You can, you can do body weight things. You can... You can li- th- you can literally do a workout workout with with just sitting on the couch and getting up uh, up from the couch with on one like on both legs one leg like yeah, that's yeah, like yeah. that's like half of a squat. Okay, okay. That that's a workout. Like and, just getting and off the couch and sitting, getting off the couch and sitting. That's that's a workout. And if if her excuse about being too old is scaring her, that option that you gave will basically give her the option of leaning on the couch 100% and any, resting. Any movement is a workout. Very good. Literally. Okay, what about the uh, uh, the other one right here? This one is from Mahmoud. Big shout out to Mahmoud. And he says, I have an injury. I have a lot of injuries. You just have to try to strengthen strengthen the muscles around that injury and uh, and try to avoid avoid that part as much as you can. There's, I'm sure you don't have injury in your whole body, right? So Definitely. There's a lot of other parts. I used to have injuries in my knees. I used to go on court because I had a lot of surgeries in my knees. I used to go on court on a chair. Oh, wow. I wow. put a put a chair with wow. wheels and I start hitting the ball because I can only move my upper body. I developed my left hand skill yes. on court. I'm I'm a right handed. Yeah, yeah. So I developed my left hand skill on court because I couldn't I couldn't put pressure on my right leg, so I could only put pressure on my left leg. This is so the there's tr- a lot of things you can literally do. That if is you, the if true you want, definition of, if you of want. never giving up, man. <laughs> and 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 it's and it's actually rewarding. It's not just you're not giving gonna give up out of out of. Out of people saying that, you, it's actually rewarding. After you, you do something, you feel like you've you've actually you're beating this kind of uh, yeah like disabled kind of feeling, you know. Definitely, definitely. All right. Well, <clears throat> here. Uh, speaking of injuries, also, I mean, uh, obviously, your answer was spot on, but I wanted to add something to that. Always, always check with your doctor about your injury. Definitely. Find out what are the exercises that are suitable to recover from the injury and then hit the gym. Keep going. And you can still find that on YouTube too. Definitely. Definitely. 100%. All right. Let's listen to some more music by Brianna. Don't stop the music. Music for Egypt. Nile FM. That was Chris Brown and Iffy right here on Nile FM. And there's nothing iffy about... What's going on with tonight's episode of How Crazy Are We? It is for sure. It is definite. It is good vibes with working out and reasons why people do not work out. And that is the topic for tonight. And we had a lot of really interesting messages. And I want to give a shout out to all of you out there who sent us those beautiful, beautiful messages. But I want to wrap up tonight's topic. Uh, sorry, I want to wrap up tonight's uh, episode by asking you a few questions towards the end and are you ready are you ready yes I all am. right so what is the best slash worst thing that you love slash hate about someone so what, um, is, what, what, what is the best thing that you love about someone and what is the worst thing that you hate about someone best thing about uh, love about people is first thing i see in anyone is their energy and whether they look to me in the eye or not. That's the first thing I love and I'm attracted to. I'm talking to someone and I feel that they're looking to me in the eye with 
this like honesty on, attracts me and that's that's an indication for honesty yeah whether whether regard regardless of how th- this person is whatever his his uh, uttering out of his mouth i don't i don't care as long as he's <laughs> honest about it and is genuine that's the first thing that attracts me uh the worst thing that i would want to see or feel in someone is um sneakiness or uh, or or someone is is pretending is, to be so nice yes, but backstabbing you yeah okay. yes yes i mean i'm i'm even talking about the 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 very uh short uh period of of seeing someone at a place or just bumping into someone or or just getting to know someone for the first time all right, it's all right. the, the the best the, the the worst thing that i would feel that that someone is asking questions for a certain reason or they're try they're up to something that like freaks me out all right so uh, have you ever lied to anyone what about lying? Of course I did. Okay, because you know I had a I had an episode about white lies. So, white, okay. yeah, uh, white lies. You know sometimes they're necessary. They are. To save we're, someone's we're, feelings. We're, we're human beings. Yeah. We we we. Some, if you'd ask a human being, uh, while being uh, under any kind of I don't, I don't know any kind of a drug, I'd say yeah. he would say I would love to be lied to. All right, all right. You know? Okay, so what do you think about fame, money, power, authority? Do you like these things? Uh. I like them, but I don't need them. Okay. Okay. Definitely. You've experienced them because of, of course, the fame that came with being a world champion. And they're all tools for me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Whether it was whether it was fame, whether it was money, whether it was uh, uh, even good people, good people are tools for me to make me a better person, to make me always trying to be uh, the best ber- version of myself, so I can keep up with them. It's all. It's all, there's always there's it's it has to go both ways. Rami. I have so many questions for you, but we're all out of time for tonight. I, I mean, I, it was an honor and a privilege meeting you, being with you on air. It, it was a lot of fun. This episode yeah. is is seriously like one of one of the iconic uh, moments. Thank in, you so in, in much, Shem. Thank you so much. It means a lot, and thank you so much for having me on your crazy show. How Dude. crazy are we? I love the name and I love your energy, and thank you so much for having me. Hopefully, we'll uh, be back again. All right, definitely, definitely. All right, you guys have a beautiful night. I will be back on Sunday. Have a beautiful weekend. Stay safe. God bless, and talk soon. <laughs>